Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited. All right, let this be an unboxing. Q-tips? Oh, right. While I was switching the MC version to the MM version, I noticed something quite distressing about the RGB camera. And the distressing part was the oil problem. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I gotta clean that up. So, let's start with that and I'll talk about the mono later. If you already know how to clean up a sensor, I would advise to skip ahead. But if you don't know how to clean a sensor, this is like a mini tutorial. I'm not an expert, but it should be quite straightforward. Let's start with opening up the tilt plate. You don't need to take out the grub screws and just pops off. Mind the little rubber thingy. You got a dirty sensor and six more screws to open. Another thing I would advise, prepare some solution you'll be using to clean up. This is uh, my friend gave me some, this is almost pure alcohol. It is now open for business. Now, this is pretty smart what they did. This is the pins for the heater. You can see it right here. There's the heater around the glass. When you put this back in, you need to make sure these two pieces, the uh, middle pieces uh, coincide with this, the, the pins. You want that dew heater to work. Now, what you want to do, grab your Q-tips or uh, cotton swabs or uh, peck pads, whatever. Uh, it really doesn't matter if it leaves a little bit of a debris because you're using alcohol, it's going to be cleaned and afterwards you'll be able to just use an air blower. Also, you want to make sure you are in a room that is either very clean or close the windows if you have some dust because you don't want it to move around. Now you're gonna have to do this a few times. I'm gonna be throwing away Q-tips like crazy. Be prepared with a lot of Q-tips, more than you'll ever need. Just in case I dip my Q-tips just a tiny bit. All right, it's getting there. The idea is that the less alcohol you use slowly will eventually evaporate and the marks shouldn't stay. If you have pure alcohol, after you wipe it enough times and you actually got all the dirt off, then the sensor should dry up and leave no marks. Always go in the same direction, by the way. Don't go in circular motions, go like straight across or horizontally. Now that that is done, what we want to do is take out the desiccant tablets and microwave them. Start off with 30 seconds, see if they're actually um, warm or not. Take them out very gently because they are a little brittle and I suggest taking them out with your fingers, not with tweezers. The tweezers can break them very easily. Put it back on it so dust doesn't get in the chamber and I will be right back after microwaving the tablets. Now that the tablets are warm, not hot, you want to do, put them back in. Should be warm to the touch. These two are hotter than the other two so I'm going to put them on opposite sides. Quick blow and put it back in. Making sure the pins are on the right place. Start screwing it in. You want to do this as quickly as you can, but be careful. You want the desiccant tablets to stay warm even after locked in the case. There you go. Dust just fell on it. Easy, just takes a bit of time and patience. And you'll never worry about a dirty sensor again. Da, da, da. So the ZWO2600MM Pro is the first APS-C sized monochrome sensor in an astronomy camera and it's cooled, it has a dew heater and the specs are awesome. So let's go over those real quick. We've got 16-bit readout mode that is so much better than the older ASI1600 mono, which is the only camera we can actually compare this to because there's no other camera of this class. This is the first one. 16 bits compared to 12 bits is leaps and bounds better. Um, instead of having, uh, what is it, 8,000 levels of brightness, you get 65,000. That means that gradients between darker and lighter pixels are gonna be much smoother. There's more data to be captured. This is a backside illuminated sensor, which means it has a massive PQE of more than 90%. The older 1600 only had like peak, I think 60%, something like that. This is so much more than that. And basically the, the reason is that the older sensors that are front illuminated had some metal wirings and uh, some of the circuitry above the photodiodes that actually captured the light. So they actually block a little bit of the photons. But now because that circuitry is behind the diode, then now it's micro lens straight onto the diode and detected immediately. Ultimately, that means less integration time for the same amount of light and the images are gonna be cleaner as well. 
Comparing this camera to the 1600 isn't really fair because this is a few years newer, the technology is completely new, everything about the spec says it's just better in every single way. So I don't want to do that, but I kind of have to. And if I'm going to compare the two, this just beats it so in so many ways. It's a much, much, much better camera. It is quite a bit more pricier, it's a thousand dollars or more. I believe this camera is going to be the best camera money can buy below $2,500 and right now there are some launch sales so it's $200 less it's $2,280 I think uh, which is a bargain it's an awesome awesome camera you really can't find anything better than that so from early testing I have noticed the sensor is a great performer just like the MC version one thing I don't know and I will keep you posted about is if the oil problem comes back hopefully ZWO addressed that issue this camera fits in line with the latest uh, ZWO cameras 533 the 2600 MC and the 6200 MC and MM versions those are pretty much the same sensors in different sizes the sensors of this line are really really insane and I'm, I'm so happy that CMOS has gotten to the point where I I'm no longer even thinking about switching to CCD or more expensive types of those cameras because I really don't need that um, CMOS gives me everything I need I don't I no longer use darks I no longer use bias CMOS gives me everything I need especially with this lineup of sensors which are freaking amazing I'm sorry this doesn't have that much information about the camera, I just did not have enough time to shoot with it to actually uh, form a proper review. Uh, I can only tell you about the specs, I can tell you about first light, but nothing more than that. I really want to use it for a bit more than uh, a week or a few days uh, before I can give a conclusive um, review about its drawbacks and, and its advantages. Uh, the advantages are already clear. It's a very good sensor. You know, you, you've seen the reviews about the 2600 MC. This is not different. This is a great, great camera. And really the only gripe I have with the color version is the oil problem, which was easily solvable. And I'm not even sure if it's gonna come back again because there's only a certain amount of oil that is inside that camera. So hopefully it doesn't come back and hopefully it doesn't happen with the MM version as well. Please let me know in the comments below, are you going to get the camera? Do you think it's overpriced maybe? I'm going to show you the final image now. Consider subscribing and liking and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You guys ready? 10, 9, ignition sequence start.